day with Bernie Sanders this week as well. And he challenged, you challenged him to come up with evidence that contributions from Wall Street ever influenced your positions. He and his team have circulated uh, the charge from Elizabeth Warren, who said you changed your position on the bankruptcy bill back in 2001 because of contributions. Here's what Senator Warren had to say. One of the first bills that came up after she was Senator Clinton was the bankruptcy bill. And? She voted in favor of it. She has taken money from the groups, and more to the point, she worries about them as a constituency. How do you respond to that charge? Well, I'm glad you asked me about it, because this is one of these, uh, you know, innuendo, insinuation uh, charges that the uh, Sanders campaign is uh, engaging well, in. Well, that was Senator Warren, uh, though. If you, no, but, but I know, but if you had played the entire quote, you know, what you would have heard her say, she and I worked together. Uh, in 2000 to stop a bankruptcy bill that we both believed was very harmful. When I got to the Senate in 2001, one of the first big votes uh, there was on a version of the bankruptcy bill, and I was deluged by women's groups and children's advocates groups uh, to do everything I could to make sure that uh, child support and women's uh, precarious financial situation in case of uh, divorce or uh, not being able to get the kind of funding they needed from a partner or a spouse in bankruptcy would not be endangered, and it was. The current, that bill was making it a very low priority. So I did go to work on behalf of all of these women's groups and children's groups because they needed a champion, and I got that bill changed, and in return, it had nothing to do with any money whatsoever, and I resent deeply any effort by the Sanders campaign to so imply. But, it had to do with trying to get a deal what... that would protect women. But now let me finish, George, because this has been bandied about, and I just want to set the record straight. And so then, three years later, part of, the, part of what Senator, uh, Senator Warren said you played, you didn't play the whole thing because we'd been allies. I faced a tough decision. I stood up for women and children. I went to the Senate floor, said that was exactly what I was doing. Then the bill did not pass. It never became law. And then when the next bill came up, 2005, women's issues were taken care of because I had made that a point back in 2001. And so then I was against that bill. I didn't get a chance to actually vote against it because Bill was in the hospital having a heart procedure, but I put a statement out. I was against it. So I'm happy to set this record straight. And I really want to once again call out the Sanders campaign, which claims they like to run a positive campaign, but they have been quite artful in raising questions and trying to cast doubts about my record. And I really am not going to sit and take it anymore. But Senator you know, Warren I have a public record. I have never, ever been influenced in a view or a vote by anyone who has given me any kind not, of funding. Not only, and not only so in that clip, I'm just going to keep Secretary, setting the record straight. But in, in, in her book, Senator Willie Rodham Clinton was not. Big banks were now part of Senator Clinton's constituency. She wanted their support. They wanted look, hers, including the voting paper that off the bill. Look, I have the greatest I have the greatest respect for Senator Warren. As I said, we did work together. I faced a choice. I could have said to the women who have been my advocates for thirty years, I'm sorry, I'm now in the Senate, but you know, I can't help you. Nobody else was helping them. They were desperate to get help. They were afraid that child support was going to be below credit card debt, that they were going to be really left out and left behind and badly damaged. I could have said, you know, I, I can't do that because somebody in 10 years might say that, you know, something else was going on. That's not the way I work. So they came to me. I said, this is outrageous. I went to the floor. I lobbied to get a change. And as part of getting that change from both Democrats and Republicans who were leading that legislation, they said if we change the raising about women and children, which they had not clearly made a priority before I showed up, then, you know, you have to say you'll vote for it. It was, you know, look, that's what you have to do. I swallowed hard. I said, okay. But it was also the case. It didn't get passed. So I got what I needed into the bill. It stayed in the bill, even in the bad version that I posed in 2005. In so thanks for the opportunity to set the record straight. In the debate the other night, you said you'd 